I'm Bonnie Lau, and I'm an antitrust litigation partner at Morrison & Forrester. I, along with our amazing team members from MOFO and from Dentons, have had the privilege of working with the Center for Justice and Accountability on the Boniface case since 2013, and we are so deeply honored to receive the Partner in Justice Award. We had the great privilege to work with our remarkable clients, David Boniface, Judas Yeseme, Nisander Martyr, as well as his late father, Nisaj Martyr, whose courage and determination to hold the defendant accountable in the face of tremendous personal risk inspires our team every day. The defendant is the mayor of Les Ewas, Haiti, and led a campaign of terror against media activists and human rights defenders. In July 2007, David Boniface, a human rights activist, denounced the defendant in court for assaulting a neighbor. Later that night, the defendant and his militia brutally murdered Boniface's younger brother, Ecclesiast, in reprisal. The following year, the defendant announced on air that he would be shutting down Les Ewa's first ever community radio station, which was hosted in the home of Nisaj Martyr. The defendant and his armed supporters invaded Martyr's home, surrounded and beat Martyr, and shot him and Judas Yesene, a young associate of the radio station. Their wounds were so severe that Yesene was blinded in one eye and Martyr's leg had to be amputated. The next year, on a single night in October 2009, the defendant's campaign of terror culminated in a rampage of arson where his militia set fire to 36 homes of perceived political opponents in a single night. The defendant fled to Boston in January 2009 after there were criminal charges filed in Haiti. We began the investigation together with the Center for Justice and Accountability and filed this case in March, 2017. I wanna recognize and honor the amazing work of our teams at MOFO and Dentons during the over seven years that we investigated this case, prepared the complaint, and have been advancing this litigation. At MOFO, I wanna thank Katiana, Ben, Sarah, and Lorraine. And at Dentons, I'd like to thank Ivor, Phil, Tony, and Connor. Our team has persevered through multiple hurricanes and natural disasters, political instability and violent unrest, the global COVID-19 pandemic, and of course, most tragically, the loss of one of our beloved plaintiffs, Nisaj Martyr. And I also wanna thank the law firms of Dentons and MOFO for their unfailing dedication to pursuing justice in this matter. Uh, and never turning down one of my budget requests. Finally, we could never have done this amazing work without the extraordinary talents and partnership of our CJA attorneys, led by Daniel McLaughlin, as well as the incomparable Nicole Phillips of the Haitian Bridge Alliance. I'm impressed every day with their exceptional lawyering, tremendous subject matter expertise, and most importantly, limitless passion for the cause of bringing brutal and corrupt government officials to account. It's truly been our honor and privilege to work with you side by side in the quest for justice for our clients.